What is going on guys? I wanted to quickly talk to you about AWS Cloud Shell, a brand new service that was announced at AWS reInvent this year. And who this service is for is for people like me that fumble around a lot with a lot of AWS accounts, a lot of different profiles and users that have different permissions, and they wanna use the AWS CLI. And you can manage that with profiles by having different credentials set up, but it, it gets out of hand quickly. So what this new feature is, is essentially it's a terminal that you can access from within your AWS account. And all you have to do is just log in and click a little button. And then all of a sudden you can access all your AWS resources from this terminal. Uh, think of it like a mini EC2 instance that is just always there. It's at a click of a button and it's just always available for you um, to use to run scripts, to run commands uh, through the AWS CLI. And it's got a whole bunch of other things too. It comes pre-installed with a lot of different useful tools in the AWS domain. So things like obviously the AWS CLI, uh, Python, Node.js, Bash, all these things that you would expect your terminal to have access to. It comes pre-installed with all those things. So in addition to all those tools, it's also got persistent storage. So if you wanna store your scripts and keep them on there, just like somewhere to keep uh, in case of emergency, you can keep them on the Cloud Shell terminal and they'll persist uh, for as long as you need. And I believe the, the storage limit is one gigabyte worth of data. You can also easily upload files onto it. I'm gonna show you a demo in a few moments of me using it in the console so you get an idea of it. Um, and the greatest thing is that it's all managed for you. You don't need to worry about you know, having your EC2 machine that's ready to go and any permissions. Um, all that stuff is handled for you. It's just a click of a button away. And so I'm gonna bring you over to my machine now just to show you how AWS Cloud Shell works so that you can get comfortable with it and just get an idea of how it looks. Uh, so let's head over there now onto my machine. All right, guys, so here we are in the AWS console. I wanna draw your attention to the top right here where I'm hovering my mouse. You may notice this new button here. Uh, this is the quick access to get into the Cloud Shell terminal. Uh, keep in mind that the Cloud Shell terminal that you're signing into is specific to the region that you're signing into. And currently Cloud Shell is only supported in US East 1, US West 2, uh, EU West 1, and maybe another one that I'm missing. So just keep that in mind. Alternatively, what you can do is you can just type in Cloud Shell here. Um, it won't bring you to any service page. It'll just launch the tool directly as if you were just pressing the button over here. Uh, so let's just do it this way and I'll show you what you got uh, to look forward to. Uh, so if this is your first time starting it up, um, it gives you this kind of prompt here just to tell you about the features. Uh, so the pre-installed tools, this is all very useful stuff, obviously. Uh, then the fact that we get persistent storage from session to session, and then the fact that our save files are preserved for us as well. So I'm gonna take on this guy just so that it doesn't bother me anymore. And uh, here we are at the, the command prompt here. Uh, so just to keep in mind, if this is your first time launching it, it does take a little bit of time to provision an instance. You'll see a blue banner over here at the top saying like something to the effect of getting your workplace started up. Uh, but once that is all done, this is what you see. So let's just zoom in here so everyone can take a look. Um, so it, it would act as you would expect, right? You have your file system. You can upload files as you see I have done here. Uh, you can remove those files. You can use the AWS CLI. You can use Python. Um, let me get out of here. You can, oops, what did I do? You can use Node. Um, there, there's basically anything that you can do here through those tools, you know, like Git and NPM. All these things are available to you. So let's just test this out really quick by trying to create a S3 bucket using the AWS CLI. And whoa, that's a strange way. Looks like there was some overlap here. Hopefully this worked. I'm just gonna press enter. Um, it looks like it created my bucket. My bucket name was foobar123. Checking that out real quick in my S3 tab. And there's my bucket foobar123. So this is the new feature, AWS Cloud Shell. So far, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, I think they have some kinks to work out, but overall really happy with this feature. Check out the video on the right here on more AWS reInvent 2020 announcements. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time.